Alright, hey, what's up, y'all? This is my second time recording this video of how to unblock the school laptop. And if you're in middle school or in high school watching this, take advantage of my video right now because this will be my last time doing these type of videos of how to unblock the school laptop because I am in senior year and I'm graduating this year. So take advantage of this video right now because I won't ever make videos like this anymore for the school laptop anymore after this year. So take advantage of it right now. But also at the end of the video, I will give out extras of how to like play games and watch YouTube videos without unblocking the school laptop. And that will be at the end of the video. But you're here for how to unblock the school laptop. And it's a lot easier than my other video. That one was a lot harder to get into. This one will be simpler and faster to get into. So let me show you how to do it. So first of all, sign out of everything. Don't power off, just sign out. Then, when you get to this screen, uh, it's not gonna look exactly the same for y'all because y'all in different districts. Don't sign in, first step obviously. But, let me tell you one thing. So, school Wi-Fi won't work. So, if you're connected to school Wi-Fi, just forget about it, don't connect to school Wi-Fi. Either home Wi-Fi, I don't know why. I don't think home Wi-Fi works. Actually, no, home Wi-Fi should work. But, for me, the way I've tested it at the mobile hotspot, this was the only one that worked. But, I don't know, home Wi-Fi should work as well, but the way I figured it out was only through my, my mobile hotspot. So, you're gonna get your phone out. Let me, hold on, let me unlock my phone real quick. Then get your phone out, connect to mobile hotspot. Let me find my phone. There you go, it's my phone. Put your password in. Then, once you're connected, It'll be like regular, it'll just be connected like this. So actually, I think more house Wi-Fi should work, but like I said, it's the way I figured it out. So once you connect to your hotspot or house Wi-Fi, go to settings of Wi-Fi, click the settings, then scroll down, and you'll see right here name servers, but you don't have to worry about that. You go to custom name servers. Then you'll see this number right here, delete that. Delete the first number. You don't need that number. So, the numbers you are going to put, it's kind of weird, but it's how I figured it out. So, let me show you the numbers I had to put. So, the numbers you're going to put is 150.136.163 and then 0. So, once you have those numbers in, if I wasn't focusing when I was typing it in, you copy right there. 150.136.163.0. Once you have that, click enter. And spam it a little bit. And there you go. It'll take a little second, but it'll show up as this. Once you see that, your Wi Fi is still connected, but it'll show up as that. Sign in to network. Then you see that button next to it, sign in. That's good. Click sign in. Then once you click sign in, you'll see this screen. But don't worry, that's not a bad sign, that's a good sign. You click continue to site. Then you get this. I don't know how this is possible, but I think some developer made it. But don't worry about it, it's gonna help us out. You click right here, libertation dashboard. And then you're basically in, that's it. You get all these apps right here. Google, DuckDuckGo, Bing, Instagram. I don't know what that is, but YouTube. I don't know, I don't even know if most of these work, but I know for sure Google does work, and that's how I'm going to show you the rest. But, you could test these out. I don't know if some of these work. I think some of them do, but I think some of them don't. I don't know, you could try it out, but you're here for Google. You're not really here for these. And you also get this right here, like this little chat bar, browser. And the chat actually does work. I've texted my friends on it, and it actually sent the messages through. But, I'm not going to show the messages because it's a bunch of slurs. But anyways, we're not here for that. We're here for Google. So click Google, then you click open. Then, that's it. You're in, you're on Google. You can do whatever you want. And this one is less liable for the school. I don't really think they can block it since it's more of like a setting. I don't know, I'm pretty sure they can block it, but as of right now, for my school at least, they haven't blocked it yet. And it's a lot more simpler than my last method as well, so it'll be a lot simpler and this one everything's actually unblocked like everything actually 
but un un unlike my last video, for some reason, Google sites like YouTube or freaking Facebook wouldn't work. But this one actually does work. Like, you can actually get on everything, even YouTube. YouTube does work from this one. YouTube actually will work on this one. But um, the only bad thing about this method is you can't go back. That's the only bad thing. You can't go back on this site. But at least you get the time for this one. Because with, with the other method, you couldn't see the time on that one. This one does work, though. You can go whatever and it should work. Yep, there you go, see? That's the only bad thing, though. That you can't go back. But simple. it's a simple fix. Just exit out. And then click sign in again. And then there you go. Just search up the site again that you want to... Now you want to play and just do it again. Uh, only the only bad things I found was that that you can't go back, and it sometimes kicks you out depending how much you're running on your laptop. Cause this freaking school laptops are always not the best. It, it, it depends on also your hotspot. Also depend on that how fast your hotspot is. It'll kick you out occasionally sometimes, but I mean it's not a big deal. This is mainly better than having to do all that stuff than my other method. And that's the only sacrifice that you have to make. That like you just have to keep on getting out and going back in to do to go into another site, and it will sometimes occasionally kick you out, depending on your Wi-Fi and depending how much you're running on the laptop. But everything works. Everything else works, and you should be good to go to run whatever you want, like any game, whatever you want. You can go on sites you shouldn't be going to, which I wouldn't recommend, but you can do that if you want to. And it is kind of slow, I think. Either it's my Wi-Fi or the laptop, or maybe both. It's kind of slow, but I mean, hey, you're here to unblock the school laptop, so it still works. At, at the end of the day, it still works. So I don't know why Comap is really slow, but I promise you, it doesn't work. You you can literally play whatever you want. So I don't, I don't know why Comap specifically is loading really slow, but it does work. All right, and here is another thing I wanted to show you. I already knew obviously I was going to do this, why not? And for this one, I don't think you can connect the controller while doing this method, but I think as long as you have the Bluetooth on, it should connect even if you're not connected to it before doing the method. But anyways, I'm not going to try Fortnite because I, I do Fortnite all the time. So let's try uh, another game, I don't know, I think Ark works, but you already knew I was going to do this, but like, why, why would I not want to do this? And I've done this at, at school. So, this is the good thing about this method. You can actually do this at school. Just as long as you have your mobile hotspot. That's the main thing you need. You need a mobile hotspot. And with this method, you can actually play at school. Like, just bring the. Well, for me, at least, I'm, I'm running on Xbox Game Cloud. So, I couldn't play. Well, I couldn't play. I had it, I had it open. I just didn't have a controller. So, I'll put up a, a picture of it. But I had it in class. Fortnite, well, Fortnite running on class. I just didn't have a controller to play with, but I actually did it in class. I actually had Fortnite in class, and I'm gonna bring my controller tomorrow and see how it works. You know, like, but it works. I can play on the school laptop with Ark or anything. I don't know any other game you wanna play. For me, at least, I only I'm running Xbox Game Game Cloud because I have Ultimate on my account, and it should work. But it's obviously not a freaking beast of a laptop. It's not gonna be running 120 FPS. It barely even runs 30. But it works fine. Like as you can see, it works pretty good. Let me run around. I can't really play with one hand, but it works all right. Look at this. And I, I haven't played Ark in a while, so don't judge me how I play because I'm recording with one hand right now and playing with one hand. Okay, but it works. See, you can hear my, my, my pterodactyl and whatever the freaking else I have. I don't know what else I have. A, a puma, whatever. I haven't played this game in a while. But it obviously works. So with my Xbox Game Cloud, it works for me and it should work for y'all. So this is something else I wanted to show y'all if you wanted to try this out too. All right, so now some extras that I figured out when I'm blocking the computer. So it's gonna be three things. First is like a cool website that you can go to and play games basically like un unblock games right now basically and it's gonna be called this let me show you it's called algebra I don't know this is more of like a district thing so if it's already unblocked 
then you kind of cooked already but that's what it's called it's called algebra.icu so for me as of right now it's not black but i think it's a new site so i don't know maybe it's a district thing but i don't know it should work and for me it does work and the way this site kind of works as soon as you load up the site it'll run up on my drive tab so i don't know like i don't know if that gives you more security to like play more games so the teachers don't spy on you i guess but i don't know it's kind of cool that it does that and like whenever you're on this tab it says about dot blank so like if some kid trying to trying to like leak the link or something you know then they can't because you could just close this site and play like that so they won't, they won't expose the link you could just play i haven't really fully tested this site but i know it's a they have a bunch of games in here so i don't know it's a cool site if you want to learn about it all right another thing that i can show y'all is how to unblock youtube videos so as for most of y'all I, oh, I don't know some of y'all might have youtube blocked but mine is unblocked it's just like most of the videos are blocked so most of the videos you want to watch are most likely blocked so like right here for me blog videos will show up as that it'll just be blocked like like my video right here full breakdown that's 25 ultra is blocked i can't watch it so first if you want to watch my video for like example click share those three dots and then click share then copy the link then exit out of whatever you're on or if you're on chrome already and then go on the chrome search up timer right there timer dash tab.com just like that exactly like that then click enter and it'll take you to this timer website first thing you do delete the numbers don't you don't need those numbers delete them and what makes this timer tab useful is okay sometimes it'll glitch out like that so just refresh and it should work again but anyway Delete the numbers, like, like I said again, just delete the numbers. If it glitches out, just refresh the tab, scroll down, and where it says right here, YouTube alarm, that's what makes this site useful. So basically, you can put a YouTube video as an alarm. Delete this link, and put the link that you just put in, and then go to this one, first tab, where it says start countdown, and there you go. Right there, let me, let me lower it down, it's a little too loud. But, it's right here. And it will show up right there but i know you're saying it's really small so for me at least the chromebook will give me this right here this little button with a music logo on it let me talk let me, okay there you go we'll put up a music logo you click it and you see it's obviously blocked but you click this right here and then there you go you have this little tab right here and just extend it and there you go now you can watch it the only bad thing about this website though is it's like kind of like the other method for like unblocking the school chromebook you can't go back like you have to you have to watch the whole video i don't know why you can't but you have to watch the whole video you can't fast forward or go, or go back so you have to you have to watch the whole video but it, it works just another cool thing that you can show and yeah i don't know if this will be useful to y'all but at least you can watch youtube videos now i'm doing this and then now let me show you an AI trick with this laptop. All right, and here is another trick. And my last trick that I'll show y'all for this video is about AI. And I know AI is pretty much a like blocked for everything. Like anything you could think of for AI is pretty much blocked. And at least for most districts, I, I don't know some districts, some of them have blocked everything. But for my district, at least almost pretty much everything is unblocked. And I don't block block, and including Gemini. But for me, for my district at least, Gemini is sort of does work and sort of does work. Like, I could just go around it basically. So it does work, but it also doesn't work. But let me show you how to go around it. So let's ask, for example, a question about layers of earth. Layers of earth. If I can type it right. Jeez, I suck at typing. There you go. Layers of earth. And then by default, or if not, schools, I don't know. Like I said, it depends on your school district. Your, or you already have AI overview and it's pretty much an AI already answering it but I think by default most districts already have this so but we're not here for this we hear about this where it says AI mode and it'll answer it like a regular AI it'll be different than the one from the the one you searched up on Google 
it's still an AI and it'll give you the answer like this so it'll be different but it's still an AI like this that like you can use it as an AI like on your phone the only thing you can do is ask it again so even if you type anything it won't let you it'll just show up as that so once it answers it answers the question once but it won't let you answer it again so no matter how much you try it won't let you answer it again it's a simple fix to that just do it again on the tab just ask on the tab again just keep on doing it again just keep on making new tabs and then that's it that's all you do so if you want to keep on reusing that gemini ai on ai mode just keep at just keep using more tabs over and over to answer the questions and because obviously look it doesn't work whenever you try asking it again or it says ask anything it'll just show up that so let's just do it again ask another tab and then it'll show up the answer just like that pretty easy so it's another ai trick it's not going to be that useful they might end up blocking it but it's just a cool trick that i found out myself personally and it's pretty cool so if you want to learn how to use the google gemini more and that's all for the tricks for right now so if you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments and like i said before and starting the video take advantage of this video right now because this will be my last time ever doing these videos of how to unblock these cool laptops well hopefully this video wasn't too long and hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'll see y'all guys next time see y'all